hello friends uh, welcome to new tutorial of hacker rank in this tutorial we solve question sequence sequence equation from hacker rank so this is very poorly written question and uh, i will make it simple like what all we have to do in this question is uh, we get an array and uh, we get n all we have to find out is like from number 1 to n when first number is 1 then we have to find the index of one number so 1 is at third position so it become 3 then I we have to do is uh, find the location of 3 3 is at second position so first value is y equal to 2 same thing for 2 so 2 is at first position and first is at third position so we print out 3 then we go for 3 so 3 is at second position and uh, second number is uh, 2 is at first position so our output is 1 this is how it is works all we have to do again let me again here let's do here uh, we start with x equal to 1 1 is at third position and uh, 3 is at fourth position so we have to first value is 4 then x equal to 2 so 2 is at second position and uh, 2 is uh, also at 2 position so output is 2 then uh, 3 is 3 at, at fourth position and 4 is at five, fifth position so here is 5 four. so just like that all we have to do is so let's uh, first of all delete everything the statement is very poor here so it's hard to understand so delete everything and uh, let's start our main function we get two things first is integer n so input of n and uh, after n we have an array of uh, length n so let input for array that is a uh, simple for loop and uh, we get input for every element of our array so this is how we get our input now the solution is very simple we have to run two time for loops so um, first of all let's uh, declare a vector to store our value of our output so vector integer type let's say call it a result so first of all our first for loop in first for loop i equal to 0 i is uh, less than n and i plus plus we are doing comparison here so another for loop int uh, j equals 0 j is uh, less than n and j plus plus all we have to find is if our array let's say ith element is equal equal let's say our rth death element is equal equal i plus one because our index is start from zero and here in our example we have to start from one so it will be, it will be i plus one so if our death element is equal equal i plus one then uh, let's say we store value a temporary value of our temp equals uh, we store the index value to j plus one so we have to declare our variable here in temp so we get our temporary value value once we get that all we have to do is like our break our full loop because we don't to go further with that loop again on another for loop int uh, j equals 0 j is less than n and j plus plus again we check if our array let's say j element is equal equal our temp variable value then we st we have to store that index so let's say our result uh, our vector result dot uh, we do the pushback operation pushback 
and we get the value of index plus one so we push back that index plus one and once we push back we have to break the loop and uh, once our main for loop is over we have to di display our entire vector as a input output so for int uh, i equals zero i is uh, less than n and i plus plus we have to print out uh, our vector ith element and end line so this is it let's run our code so sample input is correct let's submit our code It's running for 12 cases and everything is correct our code is submitted so this is the solution so thank you for watching guys and the code is available in the description link of my github account